We're a lot more alike than we're conditioned to think. If we listen to people, if we hear their stories, we're able to empathize with them and break down those barriers of hatred. My name is Jordan Reeves, and I'm the founder of Video Out. Where I'm from, coming out wasn't even an option. I am gay. I started Video Out realizing that there were so many people who were still living in fear. Video Out is a platform for people to share their story in their own voice in a way that feels right to them so they don't have to be scared of who they are. I think it's a human right to be able to discover and reach your full potential regardless of a natural need. I'm Nadia Okamoto and I'm the founder and executive director of Period the Menstrual Movement. We're going to talk about periods. Our mission is to provide period products to people in need and fight for equitable access to menstrual hygiene. We're working on uh, the campus level and local level and the state level to pass policies to make period products more accessible for everyone. I started the organization when I was 16 years old after my family experienced living without a home of our own. Starting this organization and feeling that I had more to offer the world was a big lifesaver for me. In 2011, it was a conversation among a group of friends. We decided to not be bystanders and actually taking control of the future of our island. My name is Isabel Ruyan, and I am co-founder and executive director of Comprometidos. We were basically creating a bridge between Puerto Ricans and friends of Puerto Rico in the mainland or around the world that can help them with specific uh, knowledge and know-how. By helping them uh, rebuild their farms and, and improve their, their quality of life, we are giving them in equality, inclusion, and basic human rights. The stories are one of the most powerful forces for social good in the history of mankind. Through media, we can share our stories in an unprecedented way to change people's hearts and minds. My name is Tony Weaver Jr. and I am the founder of Weird Enough Productions. What we like to do is use media to show the true diversity of the human experience. As long as you pursue your personal truth, you're never too weird. You're just weird enough. I had an experience in middle school where uh, I actually attempted suicide. I saw lots of images of black men and none of them were like me. And I thought that since I wasn't like that, that there was something wrong with me. Love always wins. Stand strong for what you believe in. Something I try to embody is to just be fearless. We're gonna build a new world. We wanna make sure that voices from all over are able to contribute to it. One love. Oh, yeah.